Hello, class. Hello. Can you can you hear me? Hello, can you guys hear me? Hello, teacher. Yes. Okay, good, good, good. How are you? Good? It's good. Yeah? Okay. Good. How about you? I'm good. I'm good. Hello, good teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you, Carolina? I'm fine. Yeah, you're you're good. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Um hello Olga. Hello, Olga. Okay. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I'm good. I'm very good. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah. Um, Olga, would you do me the big favor? Um, as always, do you think you can change your um, your name in 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 the in, in the Zoom? You could do me that big favor. Yeah, your name so that it's complete. Yeah, está. Ya, ya está completo. Ah, okay. Acabo de cambiarlo, cierto. Okay. All right. Good. Yes, because it wasn't there. Okay. Good. Excellent. Hello, um, Christy. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm tired. A little. You're a little tired, really. Yeah. What happened? Um. Very very work. You have a lot of work. Yeah, a lot of work. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That can be very tiring. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Yeah. But at least there's work, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I always say when you know when you feel very tired, but at least you, we have a job, right? Because so many other people don't have jobs, right? So we gotta be thankful for that. Right. Okay, hello, Norma. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. I'm going to my house now. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Okay. Are you on the bus? Yes. Ah, I see. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. okay. Hello, Miguel. Hello, teacher. Present. Okay, good. How are you, Miguel? How are you in the bus? Oh, you're on the bus too? You're on the bus? Yeah. I'm not arriving. I'm not arriving in my home. Okay, you're on the bus right now. Is that el bus ahorita? Yes, I'm not arriving my my home. Oh, okay, okay, all right, okay, um, all right. Well, thank you for connecting. Anyways, I I really I really appreciate that. Okay. Um. Okay, and let me see. Okay, so. Let me see who else is here. Um, hello, Argelia. Good evening. Good evening. How, how are you, teacher? Good, good. How are you? Uh, fine. Fine. Yeah. At my house, yeah. Okay, good, good. Okay. Bueno, chicos um, y chicas, me harían un favor ahí de aprender su camarita para que podamos tomar la asistencia. Ok, así es que se me hacen ese favorzazo. Ok. Eh, 
Suleima, todavía tenemos problemas con la cámara. Suleima. Suleima. Ah, sí está. Ok, hoy sí. Ok. Ok, good, good, good. Ok, hoy sí, vamos a empezar eh, con la asistencia. Ah, por cierto, chicos, muchas gracias ahí por completar bien eh, la unidad 3. Eh, Solo fueron como unos cuantos ahí contaditos que no me terminaron la UDA 3, pero la gran mayoría de ustedes sí lo hicieron. Es más, ya eh, pude comprobar que algunos incluso ya se hicieron el final exam y hasta la unidad 4. Así que estoy, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed that many of you are already finished. So good for you. Bravo. Okay, very, very good. Of course, remember, the important thing is not just to finish, but to understand the information. That's what's important. Okay, so um, if you are having problems with something, um, you know, don't, don't rush, you know, and say, oh, I need to finish, I need to finish. No, just take your time. And um, if you're having problems with something, then when I, when it's the time, when the time is right, then I will help you, okay? Okay, so let's start with Alejandra. Is Alejandra here? No, okay. All right, all right. Eh, Cristina. Cristina, no. Okay. All right. Um, Ani. Ani? No? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Estamos, hay muchos que no, nos falta. Mari. Mari. Tampoco. Wow. Ok. <ríe> Faltan muchos. Carolina. Present teacher. Ok. Very teacher, good. Yeah, yeah. Perdón. Solo quería comentarle. Fíjese que yo sigo teniendo problema con la, eh, la tarea que le comenté. Este que le mandé, el, eh, le mandé la fotito, eh, sigo teniendo, hoy la seguí trabajando y cambié, es más, consulté con, con alguien, algunas personas que me iban a ayudar ahí y yo puse como ellas me dijeron en las diferentes formas y tampoco me da, o sea que ya no, hoy sí ya no sé qué hacer porque ya le, no le hallo por ningún lado. Vale, Carolina, vamos a hablar de eso uh, cuando termine de, de, de a pasar la asistencia, ¿le, le parece? Ok, okay. Thanks. All right. Thanks. You're welcome, Christy. Present. All right, excellent. Uh, Gerson. Gerson. No, my goodness, ok. Uh, Karina. My goodness, un montón que nos falta ahorita. Ok, Linda. También. Wow. Ok. Julia. Present. Oh, yay. Ok, there she is. Ok, excellent. Welcome. Marlene. I'm here. All right, excellent. <laughs> Welcome, Marlene. Mayra. Present. All right, very good, Maida, excellent. Uh, Miguel. Miguel. Present, present. Okay, okay. Is, can you turn on your camera, Miguel? Is it possible to turn on your camera? Present, vengo llegando. Okay, excellent. Good, good, okay. Uh, Nelson. Present the chair. All right, welcome, Nelson. Norma. Present the chair. 
Okay, very good. Excellent, Norma. Welcome. Olga. Olga. Just that. Uh -huh. Olga. Olga, are you having problems with your, your microphone? No escuché bien, me habló a mí. Yes, Olga. Uh, we, I, I was, I was calling your name. Olga, present. Oh, present. Okay, good. Okay, <laughs> okay no problem. Uh, Rafa. Present teacher. All right, welcome, Rafa. Thanks, teacher. Sanaida. Sanaida? No, okay. Uh, what about um, Suleima Rodriguez? Present teacher. Okay, very good. And Stephanie Argelia. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Argelia. Nancy? Nancy, no Nancy, okay. All right, Juan Carlos, no Juan Carlos. Karen, Karen, no Karen, okay. Uh, Suleima Melgar, Suleima Melgar, no. Uh, Carla. Present. All right, welcome, Carla. Okay, all right, guys. I'm just going to repeat quickly the people that I didn't hear. I didn't hear Alejandra, eh, Cristina, Annie. Present. Ah, there's Cristina. Teacher present, Senaida, good evening. Okay, um, so, okay, so I didn't hear uh, Annie, Ma, uh, Mari, Present teacher. Oh, there it is. Welcome, Mari. Thank you. Uh, Gerson, eh, Karina, um, Linda, Zenaida. Zenaida is here, teacher. Oh, good, excellent. Eh, Nancy, Juan Carlos. Karen and Suleima Melgar. Okay, so I, those were the people I didn't hear. Okay, very good. So we're going to start. Um, just a moment. Give me one one second, guys. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, Carolina, you had um, some questions, right? Yes, the truth. Um, right. But I don't like, remember, to be honest, I don't remember what was the exercise that you were having problems with. Can you remind me so I can help you? Okay. Um, homework 4.5. Uh, I have problem uh, exercise 1, 3, 5. 4.5. Uh, one three five. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This is this is from the homework or for the final exam or what? Eh, es la tarea cuatro cinco. Eh, es la pregunta número uno, tres y cinco ah. en la que tengo problema. Bye. Okay. Vamos a hacer una cosa. Como todavía no hemos llegado allí, uh -huh. vamos a esperar un tantito. Okay. Porque eh, Lo que pasa es de que si le empiezo a ayudar, tengo que dar la clase, ¿verdad? Yes. Tengo uh -huh. que dar toda la clase para todos, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, sí. Eh, esperemos un tantito. Cuando lleguemos a ese tema, si aún así tiene usted alguna inquietud, con gusto, ahí le ayudo. ¿Ok? Perfecto, Tisho. ¿Ok? Perfecto. All right. Thanks. Um, you're welcome. Is there anything else that you're having problems with? Inform um, eh, some information that you're not understanding? 
anything you want to ask me about something that we've already seen not like not new information but something that we have already seen no okay all right perfect okay then in that case we are going hold on just give me a moment Okay, in that case, we are going to uh, begin um, our PowerPoint presentation. Uh, please tell me if you, uh, if you can see my PowerPoint or not. Okay. Give me a moment. Yeah, chicos. Vean, chicos, que se me atraba la compu. Todavía me logran ver, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Que se me ha trabado aquí todo. Ok. Hoy sí. Ok, please tell me when you can see my PowerPoint. Okay, can you, you can see my PowerPoint, right? Yes. Wonderful. Okay, so this is a course English for Work program, Intermediate Module 1. And the topic is Personnel Training Vocabulary. It's day number 21. Ya casi terminamos, chicos. Increíble. And this is your facilitator is Jessica Lisset Guerrero. Okay, so let's start. So um, this is something that we did yesterday, right? Remember, we were talking about uh, the, the five situations and how you think that what action the manager could have taken in order to improve the situation to solve it. Did we finish this activity or, or do we need more time? Class? Did we we need more time. Teacher, we need more time, please, because Nelson and I is not finished. Okay. Okay. All right. Fini uh, you finished. You're finished. Okay. So I'm going to give you five minutes. Does, is that okay? Five minutes? You think you can do it yes, in five minutes? Okay. No. No? <laughs> I don't know, teacher. <laughs> Okay, I, let's try. Let's let's try for five minutes, okay? Um, I will come on. Okay, thank you. And um, I'm going to put you back into your groups that you were on, you were in originally. Give me a moment. Okay. Okay, so group number one, we had um, Alejandra, which who is not here, um, Annie and Olga, right? Annie and Olga, okay, bye. Uh, in group number two, we had Mari and Karina. But Karina is not here, so ya vamos a esperar. Vamos a ver. Um, in group number three, we had um, Cristina and Marlene. 
Christina, Christina is also not, I don't know, yeah, Christina's here. Okay, in group number four, we had Juan Carlos and Linda, but Juan Carlos is not here. And Linda's on here, okay, so. Okay, so we're gonna skip that. Um, in group number five, we had a Karen and Miguel, but Karen is not here and just Miguel is here. Hello. We'll have to see, okay. Um, okay, in group number six, we had Carolina and Christy. In group number seven, we had Nancy and Argelia. Yes. And in group number eight, we had Harrison and Suleyma Rodriguez. But Harrison is not here and it's only Suleyma Rodriguez is here, okay. Um, in group number... Um, In group number nine, we had Carla and Suleyma Melgar. Um, but only Carla is here. And then uh, Nelson and Zenaida were in group number 10. And Sinaida. Okay. Um, um, Julia, you were not here, right? You didn't have a partner yesterday, right? Or oh. Maya or Rafael, right? Teacher, I can participate today. Pardon me? I cannot participate today. You can't participate today? Yeah. Not a little bit? No. Hmm, okay. Okay. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna do, bye. Hay algunos que no tienen pareja, entonces les voy a asignar ahí con ellos. Okay, so Miguel, you don't have a partner right now. So I'm going to assign you. Um, uh, Julia. Y Mari, you don't have a partner either. I'm going to send you Rafa. Okay. Uh, y Suleima Rodriguez y Carla, I'm going to put you together. Okay. El acceso para compartir, teacher. Sí, gracias por recordarme. Give me a moment. Okay, bye. Eh, I think everybody has a partner now. Quiero ver. Yes, everybody has a partner. Okay, so I'm going to give you five minutes. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's open up all the rooms. Teacher. Hello, Marlene. Me puede agregar en, con Ana Cristina. Es que me voy conectando de la computadora. Hello, please. Y me voy a me voy a desconectar del celular. La había la había ya puesto en, en algún grupo. Eh, sí, ahorita estoy aquí con Ana Cristina, pero es que soy de mi celular ah. y me pasa la compu. Ok. <coughs> Con Ana Cristina. Mm, sí, es cierto. Sí, ahí tiene. Sí. 
Ok. Me voy a salir del celular y me agregan desde la compu. Vale. Chef, chef, porto, ratero. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, I think. Yes. El gerente debería colocar cámaras en la parte, en todo el restaurante. O en toda la cocina. En toda la cocina. En el kitchen. The manager. Instalar cámaras. ¿sí? En toda la cocina. The manager should have installed Install, installed, sería ED, installed cameras through vault. The kitchen. kitchen. Hello. Through, yes. Throughout the kitchen. Throughout. Excuse me, teacher. Throughout the kitchen. Throughout the kitchen, ajá. Uh -huh. All right, throughout. Yo no lo supe decir. Oh, it's okay. That's why I'm here to help you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. The manager. Speed. Should have installed. Camera. Cameras. Camera. Throw, como dijo. Throw, throughout. Throughout. The kitchen. Uh -huh. Okay. Solo nos falta uno. Number five. Yes. ¿Qué sería? Schedule is. The schedule is men's. 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 Some someone broke three bottles of the best wine in the restaurant, but no, none of the servers has report reported the issues. Could be uh, the supervisor should should has put a camera in the restaurant area or in the um, yes in the restaurant area yes good good idea Okay. 
guys finished? No, I did. Yet. Now, teacher. We no, are in, in the number three. <laughs> number three. Okay. Um, number three is my customers complain that my servers take too long to deliver the food. The number number three. Mucho se tarda el 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 mesero en servir la comida. Yes, uh, it could be the boss who has uh, talked talked uh, who has talked talked. With the waiter. The boss should has talked. Teacher. Hello, teacher. What happened? Why are we yes, so quiet? Uh, help me, uh, Julia, uh, not connecting yesterday. Okay. That's, I told you that she was going to be your partner because um, she was not here. So you were just going to uh, continue working with her. That's all. Yeah, I, under, I understand, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, Julia, no, Julia, uh, uh, no complaining. She doesn't understand. No sé qué le diga ella. Sorry. Perdón, no, no, no entiendo. Teacher, uh, Julia, not connecting Es la página 30 del ejercicio 7. Teacher. Uh, right now, we are working on, um, let me see. Oh, give me a moment. My computer is not working. Okay. It's, yeah, it's, like, it's page 30, exercise number 7. Ajá, entonces aquí dice que hay que discutir la situ cada situación con English, right? Because anyways, the instructions are in English. So tell me in English. Ay, es que, o sea, no, es que no sé cómo explicarle, o sea, quiero entender cómo hacerlo, pues, pero... Ok, si read the instructions. Entiendo. What do the instructions say? The instructions si lo entiendo. Read the following situation and discuss with a partner. O sea, eso sí si lo entiendo. Uh, uh, sobre las acciones, sobre the action, a manager could have done in proverb. O sea, ¿qué es lo que se hará para solucionar esto? Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh -huh. Dice the money has disappeared from the... Que el dinero se está desapareciendo de la caja, pero yo no puedo hablar sobre eso. Okay, Julia, uh, you were not here yesterday, right? Uh -huh. Did you watch the video from yesterday's class? No, teacher, no, no, please. Okay, yeah, that's why you don't understand it because you need to have, um, you ha need to have been in class or had seen the video to to understand it. Okay. Yeah. So, um, whenever you you um, are not able to be in class. Uh, try always to watch the video to see the explanation of the new information so that it's clear for you. Okay? Okay. okay. All right. Um, I'm going to try my best right now to explain, but um, I don't have very much time. I only have like two minutes to explain to you. So, because we have to return to the, to the, the, the main class. 
So just give me a second while I open up um, yesterday's class. And then I can explain it to you. Okay, so I'm going to show you right now. Can you see my PowerPoint? Um, no. Not yet. Yes. Okay, good. So this is regrets and remorse, okay? So when we're, something happened in the past and you think it was a bad idea of what happened, or things could have been different, okay? There are two structures that we can use, okay? There are two structures. The first structure is should have plus, should have plus past participle. Always use have independent of um, the subject, even if it's um, you, I, he, they, um, she, it, it doesn't matter, always use have. Okay. okay. And then the past participle, right? And an example, so remember, always use, you can use should, then have, and then the past participle, mm -hmm. right? Okay, an example is like this, right? Oops. Uh, I should have sent the report sooner. He shouldn't have asked her to carry those boxes, right? So we can either put it in the affirmative or the negative, right? So it can be either should or shouldn't. Mm -hmm. And um, the past participle is send. Sent is the past participle of send. And asked is the past participle of ask. Mm -hmm. And we always, always, always use have. Okay, so that's that's one structure. The other structure that is possible to use is using could or would could have or would have. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then if, the if, the had, and the past participle. This one is always going to be ha um ha um sorry um. Yeah, if this is always going to be had independent of the subject. Okay, so um, so we have an example. Um, if I had known you were sick, I could have gotten a substitute. The manager um, could have fixed your schedule if he, if you, if you had mentioned it to him. I would have come to work if I if I had received um, the schedule on time. Okay, so notice we always use um, we always use um, the if clause. Sorry, the if. Okay, notice if 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 and if, right? Okay. Um, after that, we always use the had all the time, had, had, and had. And, um, and the past participle, uh, sorry, um, always have past participle so we have known mentioned, received okay but on top of that on top of all of that we also use um could could have or would have Okay, so I could have gotten, the manager could have fixed, I would have come, okay? 
And uh, you can put it in any order you want. The if clause can be at the beginning or it can be at the end, like in the, at the end over here. But if it's at the beginning, we have to make sure that we always use a comma between the two clauses. Okay, so that was about yesterday's class. If you want to see a little bit more detailed information, you can see the um, the the video yesterday. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, we're gonna go back to the main room. So okay. see you guys in a moment. Okay, all right, so everybody has been able to um, discuss your ideas. What we're gonna do now is we're going to, I'm gonna put um, some people together in the same group. So we had a total of, let me see, we had eight groups. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put um, two people, uh, but it's a two pairs together, and you're going to share your information with your partner or your your the other group to see if you had similar ideas. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Okay, so for example, group number one, I'll put with group number two, and group number one will tell group number two what they talked about in situation one and group number two will tell group number one what they discuss in the situation one to see if they have similar ideas does that make sense for everybody yes teacher yes or no no teacher no i am not understand okay so you were in pairs right you were working together with pairs right so there's one group here, one group here, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these two pairs together. So you're gonna have four people in one group. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. Okay. yes. So you're gonna have four people in one group. Two people from what group number one, two people from group number two will be together to be. Now, group number two, one, sorry, group number one, will tell group number two, oh, sorry, yes, uh, about their solution. And then group number two will tell group number one, and you're gonna compare if your solution is similar. Does that make sense? Yes or no? No teacher. Okay, Please so me. we have a group here, group number one, group number two, dos personas, right? Two people here. And I'm going to put the two, the two groups in one group. Okay? okay. It's clear, it's clear. Yeah? So then the two people here will tell these two people here about their solution. Then switch. The two people here will tell the two people here about their solution. Compare if the solution is the same or different. Okay. Se unirán dos grupos. Se unirán los dos grupos y cada uno dará cada grupo dará sus opiniones de de solución. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you you will compare if they are similar or different ideas. 
Okay. Okay, teacher. Yes, it's clear. Okay. Okay, I'm clear. All right, wonderful. Any questions? No? Okay. All right. Um, give me a moment while I put everybody in the in the group that they need to be in. Bah, okay, I am going to give you no 10 minutes to discuss 10 minutes okay here we go so open up the rooms <laughs> okay. okay. In comparison, compared. If you well, want Ana Marisol and Rafa, um, uh, tell us the solution. <laughs> okay. Number one. Uh, money has disappeared from the register machine, but I can tell who is taking it. Our solution was um, the manager should have checked the register machine every day. Is similar yep. with our answer. Or resolution. And Ali? Is um, the manager to have seen the cameras to check in who, who was guilty? Oh, similar. Yes. Similar. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. okay. Number two, someone broke three bottles of the best wine in the restaurant but no, none of the servers has reported the issue. Our what does solution, mean issue? Uh, issue is a problem. Okay, problem. Okay. Number, the solution what our solution was the supervisor should has put a camera in the restaurant area. Okay. Is um, Olga? Okay. Our our solution is the boss will have sent to the polygraph, the polygraph test. Okay. <laughs> or, 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 or is uh, second answer is only, uh, también tengo, the manager, uh, the boss could have asked who broken the bottles. No sé cómo se pronuncia botella. Borders, borders, is the second hours in the, the number, uh, number. Mm -hmm. the number two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number three, uh, my customers complain that my servers take too long to de deliver the food. Rafa, can you tell us our Number two. Three. 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 
Ay, María. A ver si me acuerdo. Y más seco. You didn't write. The number three. Uh, my customer compl complained that my service take too long to deliver it to food. And I've seen that the manager to train the staff more. So they don't exacerbate this situation. Mm -hmm. I understand. Sorry. I understand? No. 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 Can you read more time, please? Okay. Pay attention, please. <laughs> <laughs> the, the manager should, should train the staff more so they don't exacerbate this. The number five, the schedule is I miss, and it is very difficult for the staff to understand it. Y ahora se escucha mejor. Sí. Sí. Eh, la número uno es eh, similar eh, with um, with Miguel. Yes, it's very similar. Uh, but I don't have Miguel. I don't know. Miguel is finished. The other. Three, four, and five. Yes, are you here? No están aquí. Estamos ahora nos entrando. Al show interference. No, mentira. Okay, um, finish teacher. We finished the teacher, yeah. and we're talking about yeah. our hairs. You're, you're talking about what? Or hair? Yeah. I don't know. Your hair. Uh -huh. Ah, oh, teacher okay. también. Teacher yes, también tiene teacher. colochito. <laughs> <laughs> Está que estamos, estamos coqueteando los colochos de ellas. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. <risa> y mire qué bonita le ve esa blusa, agua con ese cabello. Oh, thank you, thank you. Es <risa> lindo, ese color es lindo. Es un color precioso. Yes, ¿verdad? I like it. It's a nice color. Ah, sí, yeah. bien bonito. Very nice color. Alegre. Ajá. Uh -huh. I told you I love I love colors. I love yeah. colors. I do. You know, I, I think I think colors make life exciting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me too, también. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I mean colors like white and black are nice too, but um, but it's nice to to have a combination. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, you're finished then, right? Yes. 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 We're yes. almost, it's almost time. So um, I'll see you in a moment, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Uh, the kitchen manager couldn't have taken stops from the storage room. 
In my case, I could have seen the cameras first. Mm. This picture is a means in the What? Mess. Mess. Yes. Mess. 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 Ah. The education is a mess and it is very difficult for a staff to understand it. Mm. The person in charge of the education shouldn't have this problem with the staff on duty or chief. Okay. Uh, or the manager should have fixed the schedules if the employees have mentioned it to him. Um, the manager should have organized the schedule. Organize, not organize, but organize. Okay, organize. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's finished, guys. Yeah, we're finished. Okay, wonderful. We'll see each other in the main room. Okay, class. So what happened? Did you um, have the same information? Um, were your ideas similar? Were they completely different? What happened? Tell me about it. Sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yes. The opinions is different, different, but um, the idea is good. Okay. Okay. Good. So, so even though it was different, but you agree with what your partners mentioned. Yeah. Is that yes. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay, excellent. Um, anybody found that their your opinions were the same? That you had similar ideas? Or were they completely different? For my group, it's different, teacher. Uh, lo, <laughs> lo que coincidía era the manager or the in charge or, or in charge the restaurant or kitchen. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Okay, excellent. Anything else? Okay, sure. Yes? And um, my group, in another group, mm -hmm. we agree in resolution about the question, about the situation one, two, and three. 
Mm -hmm. uh, number four is complete different. And number five, two. Okay, okay. All right, number number five and number what? Number four and number five. Number four and five, okay. So what's one different? And three were very similar, but four and five were different. Yes. Okay. okay, all right. And that's okay. And that's okay because, I mean, you think differently. We all think differently, right? Uh, which is, but it's good to, and I really liked uh, what, you what you said at the beginning that, you know, uh, even though the answers were different, but they had very good ideas, right? And this is very nice. It's true. Sometimes um, some somebody thinks differently than you, but it's good because it gives you a different perspective. That's excellent. Okay, very good class. Um, what we're going to do right now is we are going to. Um, it, oh, just give me a second. We are going to um, um, take attendance. Okay. So please listen for your name. Okay. And let and open up the microphone, please. All right. So we start with Alejandra. Alejandra, no Alejandra, okay. Um, Cristina. Okay, very good. Um, Annie. Present teacher. Very good, welcome. Uh, Mari. Present. Okay, Carolina. Present teacher. Excellent. Cristina. Present. Excellent. Uh, Herson. Herson. Okay, Karina. Present. Um, Karina, uh, do you have problems with the microphone? Is there with your camera? No, teacher. There. Here she is. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Linda. Linda? Linda? Julia, this is a teacher. Hmm? Julia, this. No, no, Linda. But the next one is Julia. Present. Okay, <laughs> good. All right, uh, Marlene. I'm here. All right, excellent. Welcome, uh, Maida. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Miguel. Miguel. Who's on here? Okay, uh, Nelson. Present. Uh, okay, very good. Ah, Miguel, yes, I just saw you, Miguel. Thank you. Uh, Norma. Norma. No, no. Norma's on here. Okay. Uh, Olga. Present. Okay, very good. Rafa. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Sanaida. Present teacher. Okay, good. Sylvia, uh, sorry, Suleyma. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Steph, uh, Stephanie Argelia. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Nancy. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Present. All right, yeah, gotcha. And Juan Carlos, Karen, Karen, Suleyma Melgar, Suleyma Melgar, and Carla. Present. Okay, 
Very good. All right, excellent. So we're going to continue. Um, for this, we uh, need, just give me a moment. Give me one second, guys. Just one second. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Um, please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Oh, no, wait a sec. Wrong. Wrong button. Okay, oh, I see. Can you see my PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So uh, we're going to be looking at um, the conversation right now. But before we look at the conversation, let's look at these two. Whoops. Hold on. Let's do these. Let's look at these two questions. How do you identify the areas of our opportunities that require personnel training? Okay, so uh, imagine that you were in charge of finding um, personnel training. How do you find those areas of opportunity? Are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? Do you understand these two questions? Do you understand these two questions? How do you identify the areas of opportunities that require personnel training? And are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? Yes? Yes. 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 Okay. All right. So I'm going to put you in pairs, different pair. I'm going to change your partner. And you're going to discuss these questions. Ojo con esto, and I'm going to say it in Spanish so it's absolutely clear. Están respondiendo a solo estas dos preguntas. No quiero que me vayan a leer esto. Just these two questions. Only this one and this one. Two questions, that's it. You're going to be discussing. No writing, just speaking. Okay? Is that clear? Okay. Yes, it's clear. All right, wonderful. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to create the groups. One moment. Mari, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Can we hear you, please, for this activity? Is it possible to include you? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so I'm gonna open up the groups. You have about six minutes to discuss those two questions, okay? Please, if, if you are finished in minute number four, don't just sit there in silence for two minutes, okay? No malgasten ese tiempo, okay? If you have, if you finish in two, in, in two, in four minutes and you still have two minutes, use those two minutes to keep on talking to your partner. Talk about anything. You can talk about anything you want, but in English, okay? Try to continue that conversation in English. Okay, and some people say, I don't know what to say. 
say how was your day you know um talk about the weather oh it's very hot you know whatever it, they, it's not important the topic what's important is that you speak that you continue talking 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 okay ready here we go let's open up the groups Sí, no me le voy a contar, no le entiendo. Ok. How would you define, no. This question don't have in manual, teacher. Sorry? No están en el manual esas preguntas. This question. Can you ask me in English? I don't. Ah. Where is the page in the manual for this question? Oh, this is page. 33, I believe. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you identify the areas of opportunities, opportunities that require personal training? In my case, I think about that the personal don't comply the process is because we need training more training and what do you think? I think how do you get areas of I take care with the person? Uh, I think that the areas, areas are evaluation and training should be some according to your work. The areas should be evaluation. Evaluation and training should be so according they work. Okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 
in this case will be the area human resource or the boss. Any will be human resource or the boss or the, boss. the evolution or the boss. The boss. Okay. I think the same of you. And second question: Are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? In my workplace don't have a lot of training. Uh, we have had training, but it's about the, the topic um, like this um, convivencia with, with our co-workers and this stress, but no, we no we have about the training for the work. Uh, in my in my house, in the world, if they give us the opportunity opportunity to attend many many training to learn. Do you have many training? Yes. Ah, good, good for you, <laughs> congrats. <laughs> <laughs> Is the training, um, I think about this very important because the, the task with, with assign, uh, um, we can do it more or, uh, uh, efficient, efficient, more efficient. I think about difficult for all the people um, access uh, to the study. You know, to yeah, it's difficult. Or how opportunity. Training. Yeah. Training opportunities. Mm -hmm. But this good is uh, that in your company was different. Yes, it's, it's different. Yes. Uh, you in your company? What are the uh, for example, uh, today, um, I received a different training, for uh, for example, in a, uh, how do you say comportamientos, teacher? Behavior. Behavior, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is, it's okay. Your question? No, no teacher, yeah, okay. just, yeah. Um, that we hyper for another or, or different problem, um, administration or for, for the life in my case, because I work in the, in the content. And maybe it's, it's only, yeah. Mm -hmm. In in the number one, two, we can identify area um, through number one or number two. No, number one. Um, Por medio de una encuesta, no sé cómo decirlo. 
Oh, in, in your in your company, identify the area. Yes, you can identify. You can um, request the box. The the opportunity. Oh, when they have a, a lot of a lot of dates or uh, decide what is the the new training. No, no le entendí. Ah, cuando ellos tienen esos datos deciden cuál cuál. Yes. Cuál, eh, Okay, so I imagine that most of you are finished. So let's discuss these two questions. We have, how do you identify the areas of opportunities that require personal training? How do you identify those areas? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, Olga? I, I think about when when our co-workers um, don't comply the procedures or uh, they have many many mistakes okay okay very good yeah that's true that is true what else Mm -hmm. How do you how do you identify? How do you identify the areas of opportunities that require personal training? So if you were the person in charge, you were the person in charge of um, of the of training for the personnel. How do you identify what would be the best training for the, for your personnel? In my work, teacher, uh, begin the training in, in personal attention class, attention class, uh, and, and training in a calm area. Okay. Okay. Very good, very good. What else? In my case, teacher, uh, in my world, there are so much opportunities, but the employee mm -hmm. say, what training do you want to take? Sorry, I didn't understand the last part, Sulema. Um, I, um, the employee, they say, the employee say to the boss, mm -hmm. what mean do you want to take? Oh, okay. The employee, the employees tell the boss what, in, what training they want to take. Yes. They want For to call English. I say to my uh, to my boss, mm -hmm. I want learn English and and I I take the training. Mm, okay, sounds good. Sounds excellent. Okay, very good. Now, are there a lot of training opportunities at your workplace?
in my case, no. No? No, Marlene? Everybody? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm sorry. In my case, I have a much opportunity um, training, the training opportunity for the personnel because we have uh, the employees are very young. Some are rebels and do not, yes, and do not care about their work. Talk to them to have an excellent uh, attitude for the guests all day. Okay. Okay, very good. All right, so unfortunately not, not, not very nice um, ambience. Yes, but it's difficult because uh, they not uh, um, like the work. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Very good. Um, okay. All right. What about the others? Are there any? Uh, Training opportunities in your workplace? Karina, what about in your workplace? Are there a lot of uh, training opportunities? No, teacher. No? No, in my case, I have never attended to a training. Mm, okay. But well, this is a training in a way. Mm, yes, but not in my area. Mm, okay, I see, I see. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, very good. What we're going to do now is we're going to now practice the conversation that we have here. Okay, so we're going to read and practice the conversation. As always, I need your microphones off because we're going to practice, but we're not going to distract our classmates, okay? So everybody's gonna practice in their own home. Here we go. The dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server's training for next month. and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained about having to wait for too long. Yes. I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills. and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training.
Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Okay. All right, class, please in the chat, write words that you don't understand the pronunciation that you want me to repeat pronunciation. Is that it? That's it. Okay. All right, let's let's um practice the words then. The first word is dishwasher. Dishwasher. Um guys, please open up your microphones because I do want to hear you say it. Dishwasher. 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 Hired. 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 Promoted. 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 Opportunities. Opportunity. Opportunities. Come on. Opportunities. Opportunity. Opportunities. Opportunities. Performance. 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 Good. Complained. 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 Wait. 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 Skills. 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 Knowledge. 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 Include. 
include 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 evaluate 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 good all right excellent okay so everything's clear now yes okay yes good. teacher thank you you're welcome. Okay, now let's uh, let's start, um, tell me in, in your in the chat which words you don't understand the meaning. Which words don't you understand the meaning? Really? All the words are clear? Ah. Only one word? Only one word. Okay. All right. Knowledge, if you notice, contains the word no. Okay. Not no, the, the opposite of yes, right? But no as in no, this is the verb. Okay, so when you know something, it's because you have knowledge. Knowledge is the noun of the verb know. You know something, right? And when you have, when you know something, that information that is in your head is the knowledge. Okay, how do you say knowledge in Spanish? Conocimiento. Conocimiento. Exactly, yeah, very good. Okay, and I saw one more which is dishwasher. Dishwasher is a person that their job is to wash the dishes, right? So after people eat in a restaurant, they wash the dishes. That's their job. Okay. All right. What I want you guys to do now is now that you know the vocabulary, you know how to pronounce things, you're gonna work with your partner and um, you are going to be practicing the conversation, right? Same conversation we've had between Alex and Rick and then answer these questions with your partner. One, two, three, four, four questions, okay? So first, practice the conversation. If the first time you are Alex, and the second time you are Rick, you're going to switch roles. And then at, at the end, after, you're going to be asked, answering these questions. Okay? It's clear? Yes. Good. Okay. All right. Let's um, open the rooms. Okay. And you're going to be working with the same partner as before.
He asking me about training opportunity. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server's training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance this, this month was not so good. Some customers complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think server need a good training. Let's identify their skills. Identify. I, I just <laughs> And repeat, please, teacher. <laughs> identify. I, I identify. No, no. Identify. I identify. Identify their skill and all All in tea. So we, so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that and don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Okay. Okay, I start now. The dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked he asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule on servers. Training for next month and one for cashier performance this month was not so good. Some customer complained about having to wait. Complained. Complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need to need a good training. Let's identify identify their their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let I'm glad how you self-corrected. That's excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Let us team. And don't forget, we have to evaluate, 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 evaluate the servers after evaluate. the training. Evaluate, evaluate the servers after the training. Okay. okay. Now the the questions, the four questions, the four. Is who is asking for a promotion? Como Alex. Como the, uh -huh. yeah. Yes. In Como the, Como what? Who is asking for a promotion? Mm -hmm. Como un penso de promover algo así. Mm, yes. Yeah. Alex. Right, yes, I think it's Alex. Um, the second, what did the customers complain about? Um, for too long. Mm -hmm. Okay, number three, what staff will receive training? Servers and cashier. Cashier. And cashiers. Yes. Okay. Uh, and what step will Alex and Rick and Rick take take for the training? Take for the training. Um, I Um, and this, uh, yes, I think ser servers need a good training. Let's identify the, their skills and knowledge. Identify. Evaluate the servers. Identify, not identify. Ident 
identify okay yes. identify the risk the knowledge and evaluate evaluate the servers after the training cool. yeah Okay, the conversation. Okay, one, one more, more time. Okay. You. Nice. Okay. El paso eh, que ellos eh, siguen para entrenar. Para la capaci para ser capacitados. Para uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, they will identify their skills I and no. Perdón. Identify. 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 Not identify. Ah. Identify. Identify. Okay. Identify. They identify. Entonces sería, they will identify their skill knowledge to be able to include everything they need for the training. And they will also evaluate if the server is after the training. Las quejas fueron recibidas por los cajeros, ¿vale? De servers. Ajá, sí. Por los cajeros, sí. Eh, luego la tres. We receive training. Indicar. Receive training. Ajá, receive training. The server and the cashier. En servers. En servers. En servers. Servers and the cashier. Okay. Number four. They will. Are you there is killing is no teacher is no late. It's correct. It's correct. It's no late. No English. So we can include everything ne they need in the training. Number four. Okay. Ya los encontró. Yeah. Okay. It identify their skills. Mm -hmm. So. Teacher, I have a, a well, we have a, a question. Yeah. For example, the, the training mm -hmm. will be for the next month for the servers. But the cashier we have one, two. And the question number three is what is staff will receive training? Mm. Maybe we we'll be just for the server, but the cashier has we we'll be have one two. Uh huh. Exactly. But but this this question is just for the the training that the, the Alex and Rick are talking about, right? Mm, yes, but they mentioned also the cashier training. Uh huh. Yeah, that's fine. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. So we finish. Okay, great. We're ready. All right, see you in the meeting. Okay, see you.
Okay, great. Let's discuss these questions then. Okay, so the first question is, who is asking for promotion? The dishwasher. Who? The dishwasher. The dishwasher, very good, is asking for promotion. What did the customer complain? What did the customers complain about? The customers are having to wait for too long. Mm hmm. Yeah, very good. Excellent. Um, and what staff will receive training? The service. The servers and? The cashiers. The cashiers, very good. What steps will Alex and Rick take for the training? Identify the skills and knowledge. Very good. And? Everything they need in the training. Mm, no. We have to evaluate the servers. Good, the and then they evaluate the servers after the training. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Excellent, very, very good guys. Okay. Last activity we're gonna do, we're gonna do a pair discussion. How do you organize training for your staff? Number the steps, the steps in the correct order, okay? So, analyze the job, decide skills and knowledge gaps, implement and training, identify personnel's current skills and knowledge, evaluate performance of training, identify training solutions. You're gonna, I'm gonna put you back in your group and you're going to put the numbers in the order that you think is more logical. Do you understand? Yes, we understand? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put you in your groups. Uh, we're gonna go back in your groups. Identify current skills and training. Evaluate performance of the training and identify training solutions. Uh, number for one. me, the number one is analyze the job. Analyze the job for me. No, number one. Yeah. Identify personal, current skill and knowledge. Yeah, number two. Two. Yes. Evaluate performance after the training. No, that could be the yes. last one. Uh-huh. The science and knowledge. What? Decide skills and knowledge gaps. Uh, but. Okay, what could be the, the, the number three? Decide skills and knowledge gaps. Yes, yes. Okay. And. E Implement the training. No, implement the training. Or, or identify training solutions. Is three. 
Ah, yeah. 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 Uh, Before the science skill, the knowledge. Yeah. Uh, no. Identify. Identify. Training. Yeah. Implement the uh, five. Implement training. Yes. Implement training. And six, evaluate, evaluate performance after training. Evaluate perform, performance after training. Mm -hmm. Number one, one, analyze the job. Mm -hmm. Number two, identify personal coding skill and no, 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 like, no, ¿Cómo se dice? knowledge, 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 <laughs> number three, design skill and knowledge, okay, uh, number four, identify training solution, uh, mm -hmm. number five, implement training, you know, Okay, class, so tell me, in your opinion, what do you think would be the most logical order? What would be number one? Analyze the, jo Analyze the job. The job. Picture. For me, the job. The job. Okay. Good. Next. Number one, identify, identify, identify personal, personal current. Identify personal current. And, All right, identify personnel current, person, <laughs> current <laughs> skills and knowledge. Next. Design skill. Mm -hmm. Design skill. Design Number three, Number Good. three Number design three. skill and knowledge gap. Good. Identify skills and knowledge gaps. Next. Identify training. Identify training solution. Good. Identify training solution. Identify training solution. Next. Implement, Identify implement training. training solution. Uh, implement, implement training. training. Mm -hmm. And finally. Evaluate, evaluate evaluation after training. After training. Good. Evaluate solution. Evaluate performance after training. All right, very good, guys. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to quickly um, take attendance now. Come to the end of our class, so I'm taking attendance. Alejandra, Cristina, present Annie, present teacher, Manny, present, Carolina. Present. Cristina. Present. Eh, Gerson. Karina. Present. Linda. Julia. Julia. Present. Okay. Eh, Marlene. Present. Uh, Mayra. Maida? Miguel? Present teacher. Eh, Nelson? Norma? Present teacher. Eh, Olga? Present teacher. Uh, Rafa? Present teacher. Tonight? 
Present teacher. Es Suleyma Rodríguez. Present teacher. Argelia. Present. Eh, Nancy. Present teacher. Juan Carlos. Karen. Suleyma Melgar. And Carla. Present. Okay, very good. Okay, chicos, um, that will be all. Eh, hoy me quedo con Argelia. Y that would be it. I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? Don't forget to start working on the platform in the final exam too, okay? So all right, ready. see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, everyone. Good night. Hello, Argelia. Hello, teacher. Okay. Hoy sí. <laughs> yes. Hoy sí. Okay. <laughs> Cuénteme, ¿en qué le puedo ayudar? Pues, no, no, no sé, teacher. La verdad, me gustan mucho las, las clases. Siento que son bien participativas. Y la verdad sí estoy aprendiendo un montón porque siento que mi problema siempre ha sido el vocabulario. Y no sé, por ejemplo, a veces es como que trato de entablar una conversación con alguien, pero no, no sé cómo, cómo qué más ir eh, para la conversación. Pero sí siento que sí, sí estoy aprendiendo mucho, más que todo con eso del vocabulario, que sí lo quería, sí quería mejorarlo. Ok. Eh, siente que le está funcionando bastante lo que hacemos ahí con las conversaciones. Sí, sí. Okay. Y también como, por ejemplo, si no se sabe alguna, algún, algún significado o algo, uh -huh. ya así es como que entre todos nos ayudamos o algo. Y también con la pronunciación. Entonces, uh -huh. ajá, el estar así como conversando con los demás, sí ayuda. Ok, ok. Excelente, excelente. Um, ¿Y qué más? Eh, bueno, ¿hay algo que le esté costando en particular? Sinceramente no, teacher. ¿No? Okay. No. Ok. Eh, ¿Cómo siente que se están desenvolviendo ahí con, uh, con la fluidez? Mm, siento que bien, solo a veces es por lo mismo el vocabulario, es como que no, ya no sé qué más decir. Pero, y siento que eso corta mucho la fluidez porque es como que a veces uno arranca y ya después ya como que se traba o su mente queda en blanco o algo. Entonces como que uno ya no, ya no sabe qué más decir. Ahí es donde, donde es como que corto ya toda la conversación que he entablado. Mm, ok, ok. Eh, vaya. Cuando, cuando, cuando ya no haya que decir, dice. Ajá. Ok. Vaya, entonces... Eh, ¿Por qué no hacemos una lista de, de temas del cual usted puede hablar? Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. eh, si se nos acaba un tema, usted mira una list, la lista y dice, ah, sí, voy a hablar de esto. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, entonces, por eso le digo, por eso les digo que cuando, aunque hayan terminado, no se queden en silencio porque eso es, es, es tiempo muerto. Es el uh -huh. tiempo que, que ustedes no lo están aprovechando, que lo pierden y que nunca se recupera. Uh -huh. Entonces, utilicemos ese tiempo, ¿verdad? Es, y, y más que, pues, los pongo en grupos pequeños, hasta en pareja. Entonces, sí. me da chance para poder hablar y hablar y hablar cuanto, sin, sin, sin mucha pena, pues. O sea, de estar simplemente dejarse llevar, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. eh, a veces tal vez hay temas que con ciertos Um, compañeros nos sentimos más cómodos de hablar eh, y otros que no, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso le digo, haga una lista de temas que usted cree que, eh, que podría um, entablar, ¿verdad? O preguntas, ciertas preguntas, puede también hacer una lista de preguntas que tal vez le gustaría hacer a su compañero, para, porque de hecho, de conversaciones de eso se, se hacen, de preguntas y respuestas, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí. eh, si solamente estamos diciendo una actividad, una eh, un hecho 
as, cortamos ahí la conversación. Ajá. Si hacemos una pregunta, entonces el, la persona contesta, después quizás nos devuelve la pregunta y así estamos. Para que yes. pon. Entonces, haga tal vez una lista de preguntas que le puedan beneficiar, ¿verdad? que le puedan ayudar y, eh, y de diferentes temas, ¿verdad? Ajá. Aunque eso le puede ayudar. Eh, y trata usted de practicar afuera de clase, trata de practicar con, con alguien. Sí, más que todo, teacher, porque yo trabajo en un call center. Ah, Entonces, eh, ah, sí, la vez pasada la vi ahí con sus... Con sus... Ajá. Entonces, este, a veces, a veces hay un gringo que es de la otra cuenta. Ajá. Entonces, ahí es cuando yo trato como de, de platicar. Y, 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 él, y él me tiene mucha paciencia porque, o sea, yo hablo, hablo bien despacio en comparación de él, ¿verdad? Entonces, y o, a veces cuando no le entiendo, yo solo, solo me, a veces solo me le quedo viendo y él entiende que yo no, o sea, que yo no le entendí. Uh -huh. Entonces me repite y, y así vamos, poquito a poquito, ¿verdad? Vamos hablando, entonces así es como lo practico. También, de, yo estoy en una cuenta que es más que todo de español, pero de vez en cuando hablo con personas de, de, eh, que solamente hablan inglés. Oh, Entonces, oh. es como que, digamos, quieras o no, en algún momento del día lo practico. Eh, ah, ya sea por una llamada o con, con la persona que le digo. Entonces, es como que así voy practicando. Excelente, excelente. Uh -huh. Siga haciendo eso, ¿verdad? Eh, y si tiene usted, por ejemplo, en casita, alguien uh -huh. en su casita medio lo, lo, lo habla, puede seguir practicando, en vez de estar, eh, en vez de estar practicando con ellos en español, practica en inglés. También he, he encontrado una forma que es por medio de las canciones. A mí me encanta escuchar música, entonces es como que a veces escojo una canción y, y trato de memorizármela, pero irla, ir pronunciando como el, el artista o el cantante la va pronunciando. Entonces, y a veces, si digamos, es una canción que va a una parte muy rápida, trato como de, me regreso hasta que yo lo pronuncie en la misma secuencia que el cantante va. Entonces siento que también eso ayuda para poder, eh, como poder irlo hablando o también que no, que no, como no ser tan, como pronunciar bien las palabras. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, ok, excelente, excelente. Sí, las canciones Sam son una forma divertida, ¿verdad? Para hacerlo uh -huh. ah, bien. Eh, ahora, tenga cuidado a veces porque también en las canciones a veces no se pronuncian bien las palabras. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Y también la gramática de las canciones es como que no se sigue. Entonces, como oh, que Dios. solo pronuncia palabras y palabras y ya. Lo que pasa es de que lo están tratando de hacer conforme a la melodía. Ajá. ¿verdad? Entonces, para que quepa bien con la melodía, ¿Eh? melodía a veces acortan palabras, a veces no, no lo pronuncian completamente, a veces cambian la gramática de forma que así se pueda incorporar mejor con la melodía. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces tenga solo cuidado con eso, ¿verdad? Para que no la confunda. Pero okay. además eso es una muy buena idea. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, ¿Alguna otra cosa que, que sienta que, que le pueda ayudar durante la clase? Mm, no, teacher, la verdad es que no, todo, todo bien de mi lado. Ok, excelente. Bueno, cualquier cosa eh, que usted necesite, aquí estamos a la orden, ¿verdad? Eh, no dude, póngame un mensajito en WhatsApp para que yo pueda eh, ayudarle si usted tiene una inquietud, con gusto, ¿verdad? Okay. ¿Verdad? Okay. Puede ponerme un mensaje privado o en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ok. Okay. Gracias. Mucho. Bueno, entonces Argelia, un gusto. Se cuida mucho y hace buenas noches. Buenas noches, Ticho. Nos vemos mañana. Nos vemos mañana.